down the matter. We have I swear by Almighty God. Do hereby swear by Almighty God. In a bid to ensure effective management of the Ministry of Finance and taming the current inflation, President Kerr has tasked the newly appointed minister with the responsibility of implementing measures to consolidate the collection of non-oil revenues. President Kerr expressed concern over the fact that employees have gone without salaries for a solid nine months. He highlighted that the non-oil revenues collected in the country are sufficient to cover government expenses, including employee salaries. I'm looking for a solution. This is why I bring somebody today, tomorrow I kick him out and bring another person. It is everything that I have tried. When I will succeed to get the right person, Anna Besbit Fogo, Nogulo Ita Chakal, we have nine solid months. People have not received their salaries. And we have money. The money from non-oil revenues is enough to pay people and to do everything. Let us believe that you will I understand you have been in the National Revenue Authority and you know how money is being collected from the people. No Masakta Kalamde Anabut Anamutaki denu Maya Kunina Mikla Kuluku. Ita Amul Shabaka a chantam so gurush and then find a solution the solution will be that you must have one account one single account because guruja bila buda kulu zolendu account bitao and these accounts do not come to the people. Kuluzol Bamchi Bishilu, Le Zol Kabir Butao, and who Barfu. Otherwise, you know, we have a lot of money. So, I give you a very limited time. To see what you will do. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Dr. Martin Elia Lomuro, encouraged the new minister to take charge of the situation and find means to relieve the country from the current economic shock. It's a collective responsibility. If we work together, you may find ideas from this corner to that corner which will push you to achieve the objective. But it's a serious challenge to the president himself. You know how many ministers we have had? Nearly seven since the, you are number seven now. And some of them six months, one year. Kida, yeah, we really have to focus, help him, help the country. Dr. Marial expressed gratitude to the president for entrusting him to serve the nation through the Ministry of Finance. The minister said he, together with the larger economic sector, will urgently sit to determine a realistic and viable action to address the pressing economic issues affecting the nation. To South Sudanese, it is an opportunity to tackle current economic challenges. Your Excellency, as I take up my duties and responsibilities, I am alive to the reality of the situation. However, my team in the Ministry of Finance and the larger economic sector and I will quickly determine a realistic and viable actions to address pressing economic issues. The president instructed Minister Ter to establish a single account for all revenues and to crack down on corrupt practices within the non-oil revenue sector. He emphasized the importance of transparency and accountability in revenue collection. 
While swearing in the new minister today, President Kiri explained that the frequent changes in the finance minister has been his search for an individual who will better manage and improve the biting economic situation in the country. Aliandro Lotok, SSBC News, Juba.